Hi guys, so today we have the very first video of 2017 and it is going to be my lifestyle and fashion favorites from 2016. So the first few things I don't really have, I guess like something physical to show you. I guess I can show like pictures and stuff. The first thing that I wanted to mention that is my all time favorite thing of 2016 is moving back to New Jersey. I am so much happier here in New Jersey. I know people might think it's really weird because I'm 27 years old and I think a lot of people imagine that people in their 20s who live in the city must be so happy and loving it and living life. I mean, I lived in a studio apartment in the Upper West Side in a really nice building in Manhattan and I just wasn't crazy about it. I like the city in theory. Like, I like going there to see friends or to go to a hockey game, to go to a basketball game, but I just don't love living there. I wrote a whole blog post on it though, so if you wanna read that, I'll link it up somewhere here and in the description box. And you can see part of the reason why I left. And to be honest, I'm just happier here. I live in a bigger apartment. I pay less rent. I really like the apartment complex I'm in. I just love living in the suburbs. I just don't think I'm a city girl and I just love New Jersey. The next favorite is my car. When I got my license in high school, there was always one car that I wanted. I just always would see it and think, I love that car, I think it's a cool car, and I really want it. And you know what I did? I went and got it. To be fair, there was a lot of hemming and hawing on my part, but my mom and dad were both stressing to me that if I really wanted and loved this car for so long, and I can't afford it, I should just get it. So I did, and I am now the proud owner of a Jeep Wrangler. I have a black Jeep Wrangler and I love it. I love my car so, so much. Literally, I get into that car every morning and I just feel so cool and so great in my car. Is that weird? Third on this list is my trip to the Ryder Cup with my parents. I have gone to a lot of golf tournaments. You guys know that, I've done vlogs on it, I talk about it a lot. I love golf, my family loves golf. My parents have been to a lot more golf tournaments. They've been to multiple Ryder Cups, but this one in 2016, when they had it in Minnesota, it was my first time ever going, and the experience of being in a Ryder Cup is very different from any other golf tournament that you could ever go to or see on TV. Being there at the first tee when everyone is singing and there's so much cheering and so many people are wearing their country's colors. It's just craziness and sort of a little bit of mayhem, but it was super, super fun. I really loved it. And of course the US one, which made the trip that much better. I like to consider myself now their good luck charm because they haven't won the last three Ryder Cups. Team Europe has won and now I went to the Ryder Cup and the US one. So officially that makes me their good luck charm. The next thing I've mentioned multiple times here on my YouTube channel, I've done a few videos surrounding this topic, this item rather, this item, and it is my happy planner. I can't remember the name of the specific happy planner I got because they have different ones, but I will link to the 2017 versions because the one I purchased was from June 2016 to the end of 2017, but I will link down the other ones in the description box and I do have a ton of add-ons for this that I purchased and now have on my planner and if you've watched my other planner videos and you know that I also use stickers when I plan in here but I just really like this I like this better than other planners I've used just because I think this is a little bit more functional for me and also I really really love that you can I'm gonna try to do it on camera that you can take out the pages really easily. It's honestly my favorite thing. You can get these at Michael's or on the Make it Me and My Big Ideas website, but I do recommend buying it from Michael's just because then you can use a coupon. This is originally, the Happy Planner itself is originally $30, but I got mine for 15 and then I just bought, like I said, I just bought these add-ons like this hardcover and then I bought 
this really pretty cover on Etsy. I am someone who really likes to plan my week out and I like to write everything down. It's kind of a relaxing thing for me as well as a planning thing. So what I wanted to mention next is not necessarily completely new to me this year. I've had other versions of this. I had the app on my phone, which is how I use to read books. And to be honest, it was getting really hard and it was straining my eyes, especially at night when I was trying to read. So I decided, you know what, let's just buy a new Kindle. I bought the newest Kindle. I think that's just what it's called, just the plain Kindle. And I bought the cover to go with it. It's really small, it's just six inches. At the time that I'm filming this, I'm reading What She Knew. By the time this is, video is posted, I will probably be done with that book. But I really like this. It's so lightweight, and since it's so small, it fits into everything, and I can like carry this in my jacket pocket. I can put this in my purse, and it fits really easily. I just love having this. When people were first talking about it, all I could think was, no, I'm never going to see that musical. I don't get it. It seems like it would be so boring. I don't care if it's set to rap music no way and then i watched the toadies and hamilton cast performed and all i could think was i need to download that soundtrack asap and i need to get tickets to this musical and my parents were probably so relieved that i finally wanted to go because the three of us went we all cried it was amazing it honestly any high expectation you have it beats that it is so great the music from this musical is amazing. The story of Alexander Hamilton and his wife, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, all of that history, it's just amazing and probably not something you learned about in school. I don't remember ever learning about Alexander Hamilton when I was in grammar school or high school. I honestly can't remember. Maybe I did. I took AP history, so... Moving on to other media things, when my mom first brought up this subject of buying this over another cable box for my TV, I was so adamant about not getting this and then I got it and I absolutely love it. What I'm talking about is the Amazon Fire Stick. This is the remote that goes with it because it's obviously plugged into my smart TV. but. I just think it's really, really great because you can watch so many things on your TV. You can watch Netflix, YouTube, Amazon Prime TV shows, HBO Go. You can watch live Food Network. You can watch so many football games. I just absolutely love it. And then in terms of TV shows or TV series that I've been loving, there are a few. The first one that is so great and I feel like it's just sweeping the nation is This Is Us on NBC. I am kind of upset that we have to wait a little bit longer to go into the rest of season one because that show is so gripping. I mean, if you've never seen it, you have to go watch the first episode because the twist at the end is what totally got me hooked on the show. Besides the fact that Milo Ventimiglia is in this, I absolutely love it. Also, Mandy Moore is so good in this show. She's come a long way from a walk to remember. And The Princess Diaries. Don't forget that. Also, if you watched Passions, the soap opera, I can't remember what his character's name was, but Justin Hartley was in Passions, and now he's in This Is Us, and he's so good in the show. Sterling B. Vance, Chrissy Metz, oh my gosh, this cast is so, so good. And I just love the show. There's always a twist, and it's always making me cry or tear up. The second show I wanted to mention is on Netflix and it is the series, it's a Netflix original series and it's The Crown which is really just the story of how Queen Elizabeth II, the one that's currently the Queen of England, how she came to hold this position and I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't exactly paint that family in the best of lights but I still really like the show. I think the actors are amazing. I really like the story. It's also very compelling. And the third show I want to mention is also really interesting and a lot of people liked it when it first came out. I didn't watch it because I just don't know. I just didn't watch it. I know this is based off a novel 
and the show I'm talking about is on Amazon Prime and it is The Man in the High Castle and I also find this story so interesting. It's this dystopian world of what would have happened if America had not won World War II. So the eastern half of the country is controlled by Nazi Germany. The western half or part of the west or like the west coast really the west coast is controlled by the japanese and then there's a neutral zone in the center of america where colorado is and it's really interesting so it takes place in the 1960s it's so so interesting and really is kind of scary to think about because obviously that's not the world we live in now but i highly recommend it i talked it up so much that my dad seems to be very interested in this show. I have been really loving LaCroix and I like a bunch of different flavors. I like the lime one and then this one is just the Cran Raspberry. It's the one I have on hand currently. I like LaCroix because I like the flavors and it's not very expensive and I just go to Target and get this. I know this is like some kind of social media craze. There are so many people who love it but honestly I think it is the best tasting sparkling water out there. So the next thing I want to mention is an item that I saw so many health and food bloggers talking about and it is coconut aminos. I love this stuff. I'm trying to stay away from soy which honestly is not that hard for me but I needed something to then replace soy sauce so I decided to try this out. I was a little hesitant because I was wondering if it was going to taste a lot like coconut but honestly it tastes like slightly sweetened soy sauce and in case you were wondering it is obviously completely soy free, organic, gluten-free, non-GMO, no MSG, and vegan. So I just use this as seasoning and as a replacement for soy sauce whenever I have sushi, but I put this on my chicken, on my vegetables, my sushi, like I said. I absolutely love this stuff. Don't make the mistake that my mom did when she first got this and she left it out. You do have to refrigerate this because if you don't, it will go bad like that. So I mentioned this last year but I wanted to mention it again because I have been using it a lot and I still really really love it and it is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB and the Damier Eben. I love this bag. It's just honestly the perfect size for me. I don't carry it really as a crossbody even though it does have the strap. I usually just put it on my shoulder or I carry it by the top handles. I just love this bag so much and I do take pretty good care of it as you can see. It looks like it hasn't ever been worn but I do use it. I just try to be very gentle with it. So moving for something high end and a luxury item to things from Target. <laughs> These are my favorite jeans. I absolutely love them. I have mentioned them in other favorite videos like my monthly favorite videos and they are the denizen skinny jeans. I get the modern skinny in the short because I am only 5'4 and I like for jeans to hit at my ankle and these are the perfect length. I have it in this dark blue wash and then this lighter wash. What's great about them is they are very stretchy. Like, can you see? Like, they're very stretchy but they hold their shape so well. You can wear this multiple days in a row and it's still going to hold its shape. This is also from Target and I didn't want to bring out all of the things I have from this brand so I only have my robe here with me because it's the first thing I saw and this is from the Gilligan and O'Malley brand and I just love their stuff. You can get like I said you get this at Target. This is the robe. I have how many pairs of pajama pants do I have? I have four pairs of pajama pants, one pair of shorts. I just love this brand. If you're looking for really nice pajamas to wear, I would highly recommend going to Target and getting some from them. I will say though that their shirts stained my bed sheets. I'm not entirely sure why that happened, but it did. So I wouldn't recommend the shirt. Next thing I wanted to mention are my glasses from iBuyDirect. I actually have three pairs that I got and I do want to purchase more and the reason I'm saying that is because these are so affordable. I think my most expensive pair out of these was $34 and then the other two were I think $19 each. So I have, I can't put them on because I have contacts on right now. I have two pairs of the Lindsay glasses in the pink and the green. I like the colors. 
to me they're super fun these are only $19 each and then the other pair that I have is this one which I have also wanted in a video this one is called the moon and I think this one was $34 32 or $34 so those are the glasses that I have from I Buy Direct. They have a ton of styles on their website and how it works is you just go on their website, you can upload a picture of yourself to see what it could look like on and then what you do is you just fill out what you need those glasses for or the sunglasses because they also have sunglasses. You put in your prescription and then you choose a bunch of things. What kind of lens would you like? Would you like the case with it? Which I opted to get because it comes then with a cleaning cloth and a little screwdriver to fix the arms of your glasses and then you select all those things and then you just wait for it to come to your doorstep and it's really really great and then the last thing that I want to mention that I totally meant to mention earlier in the video is vlogging I really liked doing it the few times that I did it I vlogged my trip to Houston and my little golf trip my three different golf trips that I took in a week and then my trip to the Ryder Cup and I did vlog while I was on vacation in Club Med and that will go up I think next week hopefully so yeah I have really been liking it it does take some getting used to of carrying this around and like having the screen up and people looking at you funny because you're obviously taping yourself and they just don't understand why you would be doing that. I also really just like making the videos because it's kind of like a memory keeping thing. If you guys have any vlogs that you want to recommend to me, leave them in the comments down below because I would love to watch more. I don't know why I just like watching vlogs so much, but I do. So those are all of my 2016 lifestyle and fashion favorites. I hope you guys like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next week with a new video. Bye, guys!